All right, so why shoot mobile? It's a very fair question to ask, and it's a question I get asked a lot, particularly by filmmakers, because they say, well, there's many other cameras out there that are designed for shooting video exclusively. Why would you possibly want to do that on your mobile phone? Well, I reckon there's a number of different reasons. I'm gonna talk to you through the top points that are converting people all over the world into rethinking how they utilize that smartphone in their pocket. Your mobile phone is the only ecosystem, the only camera ecosystem in the world that lets you do pre-production, filming, and post-production all in the one device. We can write our script, we can plan our location, we can do storyboarding, uh, we can get our permissions, we can do all those sorts of things in certain apps that let us do all our pre-production processes before we start filming. Then of course we've got our filming block itself, our actual videotaping. So for that, we can use our camera, of course, in a number of different ways to capture amazing imagery. For a post-production space, we can do editing, we can do color grading, we can do visual effects, we can do titling, we can add music. So both pre-production, production and post-production are all covered in the one tool. You can learn your craft on your smartphone, you can learn lensing, you can learn audio, you can learn how to shoot nice pictures. However, if your skills grow and your needs and your capacity grows, you can also tweak and you can pimp your phone to be a complete pro shooting platform. So from beginner to pro, you can scale what's possible on your mobile phone, from basic shooting right through to very high-end shooting. It's also your new superpower. You can go in and you can start filming right away without all the typical uh, encumbrance of uh, using a bigger camera kit. So I don't have to race home or race the office, go and pick up my camera bag, make sure the batteries are charged, find memory cards, find cables, find everything I need to plug into the system to get it going, find a couple of people to come and help me. My smartphone is enough to get me to start shooting right now. So it's accessible. I call it lean forward filmmaking. And in fact, it's actually changed the way we imagine the way that we see a shoot. We can go into a scene, we can go into a set, and we have our, our smartphone turned on and we walk in and we can start seeing what's possible. And often what our smartphone is showing us, what our mobile phone actually presents to us, gives us new ideas and new ways to capture that scene. So I call it lean forward filmmaking and it's a real, it is a superpower when it comes to the way you can imagine something you're gonna film. Your mobile phone is also way less intimidating than a traditional camera setup. And I don't know if you've ever been filmed for say an interview or a news story, um, you know, and being put in a set much the same as this, if we cut back to a wide shot uh, and we can see the lights and the microphone and everything else going on around us, this can be very confronting for most people when you sit down and you need to speak to a camera. Of course, right in front of us here, we just have an iPhone filming. So for me, staring at an iPhone is very easy. It feels very native and I don't feel like I need to present as such. It feels like it's a, a very um, intimate way to share story and to capture story at the same time. Shooting on a mobile phone also means you can be a production ninja. Now, of course, we know ninjas do their best work when they're not seen. And most film crews are never in that position. In fact, if you can think about last time you saw a film crew out and about in the streets filming, they usually attract quite a bit of attention. And if we were to imagine ourselves in a big city around the world, say London or New York, or any main capital city anywhere near you, if you were to go there and set up with a conventional camera crew with all the kit and caboodle around you, it would only take a couple of minutes before you get a tap on the shoulder from local security or the police or a council official that says, you know, where's your permissions, Where you, where's your pedestrian management plan, where's your insurances, have you paid this to be here, blah, 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 blah. Now, if we replace that particular scenario, that camera setup with a smartphone, with a mobile phone, what happens? Nothing. Everyone lets you get on with your business. You don't draw any attention upon yourself. You could be shooting a social media post, but you could also be shooting a great new story that's going to be pre premiering at Sundance. You know, who knows? So it is very much your ninja production tool. It lets you cut through red tape. It lets you fly under the radar and capture story where some other crews simply can't go. Well, there you go. There's my top reasons for shooting on a mobile phone, what its superpowers are, and why it sometimes is a better camera choice over traditional camera setups. 